everyone I've got I hardly dare tell you what I've got because I said I wasn't going to buy this doll but I fibbed because I've bought her I've got lol omg wave 2 miss independent now I already have alt girl candelicious and busy bb I love them all but I absolutely adore Busy BB. Uh, she's my favourite, I don't know why. I love them all, I have to say I do really like them. And I thought, oh, I'm not too bothered about um, Miss Independent. I wasn't that keen on her blue hair, to be honest. Then I watched um, a review on My Family Toy Reviews and uh, I fell in love with her. So, Lisa, you know that I'm going to blame you for this, don't you? I've already told you that, so... I'm not saying it's Lisa's fault, but I'm going to blame Lisa for talking me into buying this doll. After seeing her review, I really wanted her. So let's see. First, we have to take off this piece of plastic that wraps around. So let's do that. Taking the piece of plastic off. So the next thing we do is we pull out the side. And here is a picture of Miss Independent in her total fabulousness. Her hair is one of the things that actually swung it for me. And when I first saw her, I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of that blue hair. I've seen them with blue hair before. I'll not be talked into this one. And then when I saw the review, I saw how sparkly it was and how pretty it is when it's styled. And I thought, oh, I didn't realise she was that pretty so I've had to get her I'm I know I know I'm terrible I'm terrible I am and here she is look she's hiding in her little stall so let's open her up and see so in her box a little playset changing room you can see she's got this background here and you can see the little things along the side here pictures and then in the back there's pictures and then in her little stall you can see a little coat hanger and a little box there and then there's her mirror at the back to make the mirror shiny you have to peel the sticker off there you go look at that lovely shiny mirror so that's if you want to use it for a placer if you don't make sure you recycle it if you didn't you could use this background here you could you cut out the pictures and put them in a in a doll room or a diorama that does come out separately look so yeah whatever you do please recycle so that's the box so we'll start with her accessories she has two clothing bags here a little short one that's got these lovely stars on it and then we have a wavy lines on the other one I like to save them don't ask me why but I do so I like to save the little bags and here we have now this is the only thing I can describe that is is a bum skirt yeah it's a bum cape it goes round her waist and this goes at the back to cover up her booty that uh, what else is it if it's not a bum cape everybody needs one and then she's got her little um shorts here which have got little studs on them and there's little pockets on the back they are very nice I do like those shorts and they look even better on so that was in that bag and then in the second bag here we are in this look at that they've done the same to me as they did to Lisa they've put the little thing on the on the outside instead of the inside never mind never mind she has a glittery little jacket here is it a jacket or a top it fastens at the back with velcro it has shiny spots on this side and shiny stripes on this side very cute i love it i like the colors she's very patriotic isn't she miss independent here's her little magazine and she is a taurus it says listen to the beat in your heart and turn up the volume on your dreams So that's her little booklet then she has a pink a pink glittery hat box and inside here we have some stripy paper and 
which holds her gold necklace, her glasses, which I shall try on. Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure about them. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> and she has her star, half star earrings. And then we have the biggest shoe box I've ever seen in these LOL dolls. It's a, it's a lot, a tall box. It's gold, it has the same stripy paper inside and she's the same size, which is six and a half. So here are her fabulous boots. I absolutely love these boots. Look at those. They remind me of like a, a marching band or a majorette. The kind of boots they would wear. And these do have the L and the R on the bottom. This one's got the L. So you know which foot to put them on. She has her royal blue brush and she has her gold stand. I shall keep the seat part of her stand underneath because I do put them on the, on the standing part. So there's that. And then the last blind bag we have to open is her handbag. So tear it, don't cut it because I've seen people cut through the handle before. So she has a little blue glittery bag with gold detailing on it and it has got an opening at the top so if you wanted to you could put things in it. Not much but you could put things in it. Small things. I absolutely love, I love her skin tone. I hadn't realised she was as dark as she was because I haven't actually watched any reviews on her you know until I watched Lisa's review. And look at that hair, can you see? It has glitter running through it. It is just gorgeous. I love how this front bit is braided and then styled into a twist. It really is lovely. She has on glittery lipstick, glittery pale blue or turquoise eyeshadow. She has blue eyebrows. And then her swimming costume has pink, blue and pale blue to match her hair and makeup. She's got stars on the bottom and stripes on the top. She has a little gold detailing in the middle and it fastens with Velcro at the back. Her articulation is the same as the other dolls in that she has shoulder, elbow and wrist. She also has the same talons as the other dolls have. Very long pointy nails, love those. And then she has the long legs and they are bend and snap. Now, not all of the dolls have been bend and snap. Some are and some aren't. She is, she does have the bend and snap knees. So, yep, she is a do. So let's get her clothes on and have a look at her when she's dressed, her clothes and accessories. So I'm gonna put them on on camera because uh, Lisa was saying that people like to see. So here we go, we'll put her, put her shorts on her. They're not edged at all, these shorts, aren't they? They are just raw edges, but I think, you know, that they're meant to be distressed look, which they are distressed look. The denim isn't overly thick either. It's quite thin denim, but we can get them on, pull them up over her booty, like so. And then they Velcro closed in the back. I love how the pockets show under the, show at the bottom there, underneath the, they pop out the bottom of the legs. Then we have her top to put on. To do that, I'm gonna take her hands off because it does make it easier. So they will just pop off the hands, Will. And this, it does close at the back, this top does. So we can put it on from the front like this. Just slip it on. And Velcro it in the back. There we go. And then we can replace her hands. I'll just on and 
there we are there's her fabulous top and her shorts and then we have the well I've told you what I think it is it's a bum skirt I don't know what else you can call it really a bottom skirt I don't know what else you can call it so it goes around her waist like so and you can velcro it there hers velcros at the front I thought Lisa's velcroed at the back but I'm not sure anyway this is what we've got it is a double layer of glittery black like nylon-y fabric I do actually quite like it but I'm not sure of the purpose of it anyway that that's her bum cape and then we've got her shoes and if you put them on the right feet so this is the left so I'll put it on the left foot and see how easily it'll go on perfect and it went on really easily and that's because she doesn't have any socks on I have found the ones that have socks on take a lot more getting on but look at those isn't she just stunning I do love her so much honestly I'm I'm terrible I wasn't gonna buy her you know I was determined I thought no I'm not getting her she's got blue hair I'm not bothered not bothered about the blue hair at all I'm not I'm not having her no watched Lisa's review and I thought oh I want her now so uh, I got her then we have the little necklace to put on. Let's put that round her neck. Thankfully, none of the necklaces have been as hard to get on as Queen Bee's because hers was terrible. Then we have the earrings to go on. So one for this side and one for this side they went in really easily doesn't she look fabulous then we have her glasses I'll try them on but I, I don't normally keep the glasses on because I don't like to cover their eyes up especially as Lisa so rightly pointed out they don't cover their eyes up properly yeah, that's her with her glasses on they look odd to me and then she has her bag So there she is, the most fabulous Miss Independent. She's made it into my collection despite my determination not to buy her. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.